Okay, so the homeless do not actually want help. It's unfortunate. It's a mental illness and it's drugs. Even if you give someone housing. Guys, is this TOS? This was like a disastrous video. Guys, this just gave me a fucking guy. Hey, oh. let's look up Pandora ah. Papers on YouTube. Ah. Is that what you are doing? Fuck it. Shit. It's Jesus. Ouch. This just guys, is this? We can watch it, but uh, uh, it, it's, it's not TOS. Okay, so the homeless do not actually want help. It's unfortunate. It's a mental illness and it's drugs. Even if you give someone housing, you're, they're still going to be doing drugs and have the same mental illness. So it's got to be like, I don't know, a program for mental health. Because if you ask some of the people, most actually, to be honest, if you ask them if they want a place guys, to stay guys, and live. Guys, guys, would it come like this, to be honest? I've, I f it's not wrong. Yeah, this is this is if this is objectively wrong. Also, I think she could she could probably benefit from that that program. If, no, they yeah. want to be where they want to be. M maybe yeah. People she could most use her own actually, program. to be honest, if you ask them if they want a place to stay and live, no, they want to be where they want to be. I mean, I know people personally who have ended up in the streets and they want to be there. They literally chose like they had a life and they're like, no, I want to go live there. It's kind of unfortunate and it's kind of like. I don't know, like it has to be mental health and that could clean up a lot. I, it, that's so hard because also like mass institutions like that always go corrupt, so I don't know. The problem is is that like, to be honest, a lot of the homeless are probably going to always stay homeless. It has to start at childhood and like unfortunately that like the school system now is so messed up and like they everyone has a bunch of trauma and the school systems are preying on that and kids they are just no no chat you guys just takes on this is are so fucking bad i i uh it's actually saddening you know what the fuck am i reading what the fuck am i reading you guys act like, like every homeless is a mentally ill and unfixable you guys, I, dude, how how about how about we fix the things that make them homeless how, how about we make life a bit more affordable? And how about we make a, a minimum a min minimum salary, right? At least clo close to a livable wage. And instead of making an uh, impossible, like what the fuck are you guys on about? Like, you guys are like, every homeless is brain dead. And dude, we've seen, guys, I even showed you guys a bunch of videos of homeless people. All of them, all of them are smart, kind. It, 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 it's hard, motherfucker. It's hard. Not everybody get, got the perfect spawn. The perfect whatever. So, so, so people uh, spawn in areas. Yeah, yeah, dude, it's not all illness, motherfucker. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Growing up with in their homes and at school with mental health, they're just not like not. They don't know therapeutic practices, and this is why they're ending up on the streets. Um, she. I actually didn't know you were gonna say all that because you're literally right about everything. Um, my best friend photographs homeless people. He's been doing it for I think ten plus years. Spends days, nights with them, and he was like, you don't understand, these people can't integrate into society. I mean, they don't want to either. Um, it is a mental health situation, it is a drug problem, and I think the most humane thing we can kind of do is, unfortunately, this like, against their like will, force them to maybe be in places where we can make sure they're at least safe, try to get them better, and if not, it's just not fair because it's so dangerous to the people. Like, I, um... What? Ah! Did it! Problem. What? And I think the most humane thing we can kind of do is unfortunately like against their will force them to maybe be in places where we can make sure they're at least safe, try to get them better, and if not, it's just not fair because it's so dangerous to the people. Like I was um no. I naked guys on the street every day. Bottom line, like you can't have them there. You need to figure something out and it is like uh, it's just it's a really difficult issue to discuss, but unfortunately, you know, when it's when you leave it up to them, you can't leave things up to crazy people. Yo, get the fuck place out, that they're going to end up going to. Is it like a a jail or is it like a is it like a wilderness retreat or is it somewhere in between? So, I think we need to build places that are not jails, not mental hospitals, but there needs to be a very, okay, I would say a mental hospital, but a lot more humane um, and more like apartment housing and just something humane. It needs to be good. And both sides need to come together on that because it's sickening. You can't say you care about people and then step over bodies on the street. I can't even believe people go in the ocean in LA. Can you imagine like the feces and everything that are going into the water? And it's disgusting. What also <laughs> scares me is like, this is kind of off topic, but it's really scary walking your dogs around there. Um, yeah feces, needles, um, chicken bones, because they give them chicken wings and dogs choke on them and die literally all the time. It's it's just another sad factor. Do you guys live in LA? 
Yes, yeah, downtown. Down what the fuck am I watching? Dude, chat, guys, be careful, guys, because, guys, if, if you guys are very easily, easy to influence, okay? Please, please be strong and look away for a moment while we finish the video, okay? This will corrupt, okay? This is a brain poison. This video is a poison. Needles. It's this like, is, this is kind of off topic, but it's really scary walking your dogs around there. Um, feces, needles, um, chicken bones, because they give them chicken wings and dogs choke on them and die literally all the time. Ch chicken bone, chicken bones. Time. It's it's just another sad factor. Do you guys live in LA? Yes, downtown. Downtown LA. How do you feel about downtown LA? It has. So she's saying that, that they have to fix the homeless problems because they're dangerous to people because the people walk their dogs and they choke on chicken bones on the ground next to homeless people because they feed them chicken wings. It has gone down the gutter. Completely. There's so many homeless. It is horrible. All the money to clean up the homeless? What has Newsom done with it? I don't know. Probably in his pocket. Also, defunding the police. Yeah. You call the police six times and no one shows up. And why would you? You guys all shit on them and said they're all horrible people. Well, yeah, like, LA got defunded by, what, 46 million or something like that? And I'm like, yeah, of course. And the crime has gone up. And they're like, yeah, so you guys are the ones that suffer the most. And I'm like, yeah, we do. Yeah, camel toe cheated. Who's camel toe? Kamala toe. Camel Kamala Harris. What is that referencing? <laughs> I know I can't talk about it. It's just everyone knows that's how <laughs> that's how she's known. I don't want to say it right now. I smoked crack with Hunter Biden. How was it? To fully disclose, because I've been asked this 8,000 times, I, mean, I did Seattle, not actually smoke crack. It is a joke because conservatives still have help. humor. We don't Just all need to be no serious and angry. I know. No one likes an angry we woman. No. Have you ever smoked crack before? Huh? Not yet. Would you? Maybe with Hunter. <laughs> you had to pick one person to smoke crack with besides Hunter Biden. But nobody laughed at any of those because one isn't true and one she can't explain the reference. So why even bother making a sign? Something that isn't true, and second, something that is that she won't even explain the basic question. Who would it be? Oh my God, Alex Jones. No, no, that's funny. Obama. Yeah, Obama or Alex Jones. <laughs> I love Alex Jones a lot. He's been right about everything. Everything? Here he is, right here. Okay, maybe not two right things. Alex Jones is always right. <laughs> Alex Jones is daddy. I, I saw him speak uh, January 5th in D.C. before the 6th. He was there uh, with Roger Stone and some others. The recall and the vote's going to be in tomorrow. But they'll probably manipulate the vote over the next several days and weeks. So I've already heard about people who go in to vote and they say, we already have your vote. And they're saying, wait a minute, my, here's my original ballot. So they're already starting to cheat, trying to cheat. Do you know what a camel toe is? No. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Oh my God, I don't want to explain this on... Google what a camel toe is. No. Kelly, do you know what a camel toe is? Uh, I believe a camel toe is the bottom part of a camel's toe that inverted very interestingly also looks like maybe a female portion of the anatomy that I would say that would be called down south. When your pants are too, when your underwear pants are too high. You're a little one of the bus three. Wait, us three, come on. Okay. Jesus. Camel Toe and Sleepy Joe! What a couple! What a team! <laughs> Camel Toe and Sleepy Joe! Camel Toe and Sleepy Joe, they all gotta go. Take Newsom with you, Newsolini, Grusolini, they're terrible. Throwing a little mustache, he looks just like Hitler. He tries to be like Hitler, they use COVID as a scam to get Trump out of office, to get mail-in voting, to manipulate the votes, just like they're gonna try to manipulate this voting for Governor Newsom. Let me tell you, the people of California hate Biden. We like freedom, we like liberty, we like choice. Except, well not except, but the choice, the women need to make choice not to abort their babies and use birth control. So that's where we have a difference on choice. That's called pro-life and that's called protecting the babies. We need, we need Biden out. We need camel toe out. We need Newsom out. And we need to get rid of Bill Joyner too. He's got to give that home back. Out. Jesus. Okay.